Hello guys, uh, I welcome all of you to today's farmcast. Today also we'll discuss five drugs of choice, one anti-cancer drug, and few questions which are asked by the students, which I'll discuss at last. Let us begin with the drugs of choice, guys. Uh, the first disorder for today is ITP, immune thrombocytopenic purpura. Now, guys, remember it's an autoimmune disorder, so obviously, I mean, you did not do not need to sweat it out. The drug of choice obviously has to be a steroid. and uh, currently the preferred steroid is dexamethasone a short course of dexamethasone is preferred and you can also use a long course of prednisolone because dexa we can give it as a short course that is more preferred now if a patient is uh, maintained well on steroids he is not bleeding that is well and good but if the patient still continues to bleed significantly being on steroids our second line drugs we have two options one is rituximab the anti cd20 monoclonal antibody or thrombopoietin agonist like romiplostim or altrombopag can also be used as second line drugs moving on to the second disorder for today influenza a b as well as bird flu right both for treatment as well as prophylaxis the drug of choice is oseltamivir which is given by oral route in case the patient is not responsive to oseltamivir in resistant cases we go for inhalational zanamivir so zanamivir can also be given by intravenous route but inhalational is more preferred because of the direct action as well as lesser side effects so influenza a and b and bird flu it has been asked many times guys oseltamivir is the drug of choice remember the brand name for oseltamivir that is tamiflu sometimes they give tamiflu as the option moving on to the third disorder insomnia as overall today insomnia the drug of choice are z compounds and two types of insomnia one where there is a problem with sleep induction so for sleep induction we use a short acting z compound like zaleplon and for sleep maintenance we use a long acting z compound like azopiclon now here there is one drug that is used in insomnia that is called as rameltion which is frequently asked in your exams Rameltion remember is a melatonin agonist and it can be used only for sleep induction not for maintenance though it is not drug of choice because it is less effective so mild cases of insomnia you can use it right but the good thing about rameltion is it does not have addiction or dependence as it is seen with z compounds right the fourth disorder for today is insulinoma now guys all of you know that for insulinoma the treatment of choice would be surgical resection of the insulinoma but if if it is non resectable you cannot resect it then in that case uh, we would use a drug called as disoxide as the drug of choice so for insulinoma drug of choice is disoxide some patients might not respond to disoxide in that case we can use octreotide as a second line drug somatostatin analog octreotide is a second line drug drug of choice is disoxide and the last disorder for today guys it is iron toxicity see iron toxicity desferoxamine that is the iron chelating agent is the drug of choice for iron toxicity or iron overload so desferoxamine is the drug of choice for iron toxicity or iron overload now coming to the anti cancer drug guys so today i'll be discussing one class of anti cancer drug which are called as egfr inhibitors EGFR epithelial growth factor receptor inhibitors there are two monoclonal antibodies called as cetuximab C E T U X I M A B and panitumumab P A N I T U M U M A B panitumumab so these are two EGFR or anti EGFR monoclonal antibodies and these are approved for treatment of head and neck cancer and colorectal cancer so these are two things they ask you what is the use of cetuximab or panitumumab head and neck cancer and colorectal cancer so that's all in the anti cancer drugs part now coming to the last part guys where i discuss your concerns or your doubts and some of your doubts are repetitive but still i try to cover it because some because sometimes you need you know time and again reinforcement of the same thing so that you get used to it so question number 1 a student has asked sir what are the high yield topics in pharmacology Now, if you do not know, guys, uh, for the last 50 days, it has been more than 50 days. I had been running a series called as HD series, 100 drug and disease series, where I have already discussed 50 drugs, and I am now discussing 
uh, 50 diseases. So not, I'm not discussing per se, but one page, right? One page, I write down all the important points about a drug or a disease and I'm posting it. And you can find the collection on my Instagram profile. So you can just type Ranjan Kumar Patel and you'll get my profile. Then check in the highlights. You will see all these pages, all these pages and you can revise them. So this is the list of uh, important drug and disorders in pharmacology. That is why I'm discussing it. And the aim behind this series is to force you to revise at least one drug or one series every day. It'll take at least 15 to 20 minutes and you'll be done with one drug or a disease, right? So I'll, I'll try to give the link in the description box or the comment box as well of this video of my Insta profile. You can check it out, right? Second question, I have finished only half of the Q bank. I'll not be able to finish on time. I guess maximum by the end of October, I can finish 85%. And am I going to miss out of the competition or something like that? See, question practice should be a daily routine and do as much as you can do within the time that you have, right? So even if you can finish 85%, it is good enough, guys. Do not think, see, nothing is perfect in this world. And even nobody's preparation can be perfect. You, you'll always want to do something more, something else. And it does not happen always. It does not happen always. So what you need to do here is you need to cover as much as you can. And don't worry because unnecessarily worrying will yield you nothing. But be bullish on the notes. Yes, you cannot leave your notes, guys. Right? Because most of the questions that would be asked, there would be new questions and only if you have a strong hold over your notes you'll be able to solve those new questions so be bullish on your notes and try to solve as much questions as much your time allows the time you have and let us see what happens right third question guys antimicrobial is a very vast topic uh, and i'm not able to remember everything how to remember what to do see i've already told you again uh, earlier as well there are some topics which are very vast and it is it becomes difficult almost to retain everything in your brain right for example antimicrobial drugs in uh, pharma bacteriology in microbiology and so on so for these topics what i have already advised you is to take a big chart paper and make a flow chart of the classification of drugs write down the most important drugs do not write down each and every drug write down the most important ones and in fact, only those ones which are the drugs of choice, you can say, you can write, write them down, write down some important side effects, contraindications in that flow chart. And so that you can squeeze the entire topic into one flow chart somehow. And uh, this will help you to retain that topic of antimicrobials. Plus, it will help you uh, to have a pictorial memory, right? When you go, to, go into the exam, that picture will be revolving around in your mind when you uh, try to solve a, a question with antimicrobials. So guys, you have to do some things differently right to get ahead of the competition and the fourth question is uh, related to coronavirus sir when will this pandemic end and if at all if i get a rank or a seat should i take that seat or should i try another year i don't know because if i go into that duty we'll be doing only coronavirus duty and we'll not learn anything so what should i do Guys, to begin with, like your question is multifaceted. The first question when you asked, uh, when will this pandemic end? Say, I wish I knew the answer exactly. And because I'm also scratching my head, right, sitting at my home for the last eight months. And I'm also at times I'm depressed that I'm not able to go out because all of us are humans. We go through that, right? It's pretty normal. So don't worry about it. And But my prediction is, guys, um, uh, I don't see a vaccine program being rolled out and covering the whole world within you know like next three to six months so even if a vaccine comes out a vaccine will come out i think in the first quarter of 2021 i mean by feb or march 2021 but then to do a mass production and make a program and to reach each and every person plus most of the vaccines are dual doses two doses so i don't think uh, we'll be able to cover whole india before december 2021 right and this virus is uh, not, uh, you know, it's, it's not, it does not look like it's uh, in a mood to go out. And uh, now since, the, since, you know, the winter is coming, right? So the winter is coming and um, these coronavirus cases are bound to increase with the winter. So these are difficult times, I know that. And so there would be difficult situation in your life. And, uh, you know, it is always uh, leaves us stronger and prepares us for the future adversaries. 
so if i would have been in your place i would have given the exam i would have picked up my seat and moved ahead with my life right because you never know guys these competitive exams are so unpredictable if i get a seat hold on to it with both the hands and go for it right and life is also too fragile and unpredictable so while you are alive live it to the fullest as uh, you know there is nothing called as after life it is just a myth according to me and uh, at last guys today i have thought uh, to charge you guys up because uh, he brought about, brought out this corona virus topic and uh, he's so much depressed about it i mean even he is thinking even not to pick up a seat because of corona virus i was uh, surprised with that and to charge you guys up uh, uh, in these depressing times i'll narrate you a story right i write uh, short stories and uh, if you are not up for it because it would be more of a kind of philosophical thing and a story as to tell you that uh, how these difficult times they teach us something and they they prepare us actually for more difficult times which will come some day right sooner or later in our lives right guys so i'll i'll keep this uh, story short and sweet so there was this uh, medical student in his first year when he fell in love for the first time and they dated for 2 to 3 years and uh, because of some reasons uh, he broke up with his girlfriend and uh, his girlfriend was obviously right uh, she was uh, she wanted to take a revenge from him because they broke up and uh, she wanted to make him feel more bad about it that uh, they broke up and it was mutual though so what happens is what she does is she hooks up she she hooks up with one of his friend right so it's kind of a double blow for him because at the same time he loses uh, a friend as well as a girlfriend both so if you watch boxing it's kind of a left punch and then a right punch so it's kind of these are the things which leads to a knockout in a boxing match so he was almost knocked out he was too depressed and uh, now he wanted to go back to her but he cannot because she has she has already been hooked up and uh, though she wanted to make him feel pathetic and bad and so she uh, he would crawl up to her and that is what precisely happened but now she was in no mood to go back to him because she was enjoying this process where he is begging and he wants to go back to her and finally he realizes at one point of time that there is no 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 point in doing all of these things and uh, he gives up but now he is too depressed he is too depressed and he can't study he can't eat he, he can't do anything and he is in a state of anhedonia you know right he is not able to enjoy anything in his life and uh, how he feels now is kind of he is sitting there and he has uh, this huge wall in front of him which is touching the sky and he cannot see anything beyond this wall right he cannot see the world beyond this wall so what happens is time passes by days weeks months and he can see this wall which was touching the sky its height continuously keeps on decreasing right and one day what happens this wall even if it does not completely vanishes he can still move out of that wall live his life right and there would be times he would come back into those boundary of four walls grief some time but again he is out of those walls right he can now freely move out of those walls and live on with his life so he moved on with his life he fell in love again and this time he knew for sure he did things and not to let her go because he knew he knew what happens when you let the person you love go from you and he got married with her they settled down and her wife was pregnant now and life was rosy now right he was very happy that he's he has now everything he 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 has a woman he loves and they will soon have a kid but unfortunately right it did not last very long why when when his wife was uh, um planned for the delivery normal vaginal delivery because of some medical complications right he loses both his wife and his kid and his back to square is again double blows left punch right punch and is knocked out he not only loses his wife but also loses his kid and again things are same 
he can see a very huge wall in front of him that touches this sky and he cannot see anything beyond it so it's the repetition of the same thing which happened to him many years ago and it's a kind of situation which can drive him to suicide but he did not commit suicide he fought it why because he has been through it one though that situation was not as difficult as this one but one thing he he knew from past experience that as months days months weeks years will pass by the height of this wall will gradually go down and again he will be able to go out of it and live his life though life would not be the same would not be the same because with every breakup with every person that you love they move away from you a part of your soul dies what i mean to say here is you'll have difficulties in your life right and these difficult situations they teach you something and you know that these difficult situations will not be forever a time will come when things will change and they will be the way you want them to be but until then you keep fighting and don't ever think of giving up this is the life that god has given you and live it to the fullest all right guys that's all for today and if you have any kinds of doubts any kind guys any weird kind of doubts you have i don't mind discussing it so that i can take some burden off your shoulder and your conscience i'll be happy more than happy to discuss your doubts in one of my farmcast so guys take care bye bye this was dr ranjan with you